Even though we can't eat out, consider ordering a gift card to celebrate when we can all be together again. We do know that the only way through this is by caring for one another. In the meantime, imagine happy future outings with our next episode of Check, Please! Bay Area, recorded earlier this year. Cheers. It was just bursting with flavor. I, I loved it. <laughs> oh, the texture in your mouth, the spices, it was just really unique. My three kids tore into those beignets like wild dogs. I barely got any. <laughs> Check Please Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQED and by the following sponsors, whom we gratefully acknowledge for their steadfast support during these uncertain times. At Redwood Credit Union, we help people achieve their financial goals together, offering customized full-service personal and business banking for the North Bay and San Francisco. Redwood Credit Union. Total Wine & More, offering more than 8,000 wines, 2,500 beers, and 3,000 spirits. Total Wine & More, now with nine Bay Area locations. TotalWine.com. The Bay Area Airport that's close and reliable. iFlyOAK.com. The national recognition for healthcare equality. It's a thousand things, big and small. Sutter Health. Hi, I'm Leslie Sabraco. Welcome to Check Please Bay Area, the show where regular Bay Area residents review and talk about their favorite restaurants. Now we have three guests, and each one recommends one of their favorite spots, and the other two go check them out to see what they think. This week, retired police officer Mario Chesney alerts us to Vacaville's finest for fresh Thai flavors. And former baseball coach Frank Casanelli hits it out of the park at his dog patch destination for beignets. But first, education specialist Casey Rooney sends us northward for modern California classics in Yountville. With everything from sushi to famous fried chicken sandwiches, you'll always be satisfied at R&D Kitchen. My name is Micah Martin. I'm the general manager of R&D Kitchen in Yauntville, California. This is the fourth R&D Kitchen uh, in the Hillstone Restaurant Group, but uh, what makes this one particularly unique is that it is often a launching pad for many menu items or changes to menu items that uh, would then be rolled out for the rest of the company. Just about everything that is served here in the restaurant is made in-house. Any dish that has to be prepared is prepared daily, from the bread that's baked fresh uh, daily in the morning to the herbs that are picked in our garden. We really strive to do uh, each limited dish that we do serve in a very, very perfect manner. Often you hear, you know, good is the enemy of great, and we want to do everything great. So from our Thai tuna roll to the crispy chicken sandwich, to the Thai steak and noodle salad. You know, you can leave here feeling like that is the best chicken sandwich I've ever had. Or that is the best sushi roll I've ever had in my life. And that's really what we're trying to go for. We really, really strive as a staff to make sure that all the finest points are hit. And it all starts with a warm, genuine, friendly smile when you walk in the door. What really makes us unique in the Yonville community is that we found ourselves becoming the extension of a lot of the local residents' home. Uh, this is the place that they come because it's Tuesday to have dinner. Uh, it doesn't have to be a special occasion. We're just this quintessential restaurant in the heart of Napa Valley that makes you really leave this place knowing that you're able to participate in something that uh, is really, really special. Casey, we're heading all the way up to Napa Valley, right? Yep. To go to this restaurant. One of my favorite places. And why is it one of your favorite? It is a great place because we can take friends, families, I can take my kids there, and everyone always finds something that they love. It's just one of those places that everyone loves. And you can take time and kind of walk around the town of Yountville, right? Absolutely, absolutely. You can take time, you can walk around. They have this amazing outdoor area. Mm -hmm. They have an outdoor bar, so you can sit out on these Adirondack chairs and just relax with a glass of wine. And do you start with anything? I usually start with the ahi tuna tartare, and it's a huge portion, so we usually share it, and it's just so fresh, and my favorite part is it's served with almost an entire avocado, so I love just chopping up the avocado and mixing it in with the tartare. It's great. Okay, uh, Frank, what did you begin your experience with? Uh, uh, the best 
Bloody Mary I've had in a number of years. Excellent. This Bloody Mary was served without ice, which I never experienced before. And it was ice cold, spicy, and just very refreshing. Just straight Bloody Mary, it was delicious. Okay. And then we had the sashimi uh, sampler. Mm -hmm. All the fish was very fresh, firm, very tasty. And then I stayed in the fish mode, and I had the ahi tuna burger. And this was ground up ahi tuna, seared, served with slaw, tomato, and very spicy sauce mm -hmm. on a homemade bun. Delicious. Well, they do all their buns in-house. The homemade yes. bun the homemade is what makes buns. all yeah. of their sandwiches. Yeah. Yeah. Mario shaking his head going, mm-hmm. Did oh, you yeah. have some buns? Yeah, no, I didn't have any buns, but <laughs> we, st we started off with the uh, margarita mm -hmm. and a drink called the Crush. First time I ever had it. So it's muddled white grapes with Tito's vodka. Mm. And it, that was delicious, refreshing. What about the margarita? Margarita, my wife had that one just freshly made. Uh, no, you know, anything mixed bottles or anything. Right. It, was, it was awesome. Right, and they have a, you mentioned a really good wine list. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they also have four or five wines on tap, which is really interesting. And they're very reasonably priced for the Napa Valley. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So tell me what you had when you started. Well, we started with the, uh, nigiri sushi, which was uh, ahi tuna, yellowtail, and a salmon. And it was perfect. Just the right amount of sushi rice. Wasn't overpowering, doesn't fill your mouth, but it gave enough room for you to actually taste the fish, which just perfect, yep. melted in your mouth. Right, so after the tuna, what's next? The Ding's Crispy Chicken Sandwich is their signature dish. Um, all of my family absolutely loves it. It's just this perfectly seasoned, crispy chicken sandwich on top of that homemade bun with this slaw. It comes out and it's a huge portion. I never think I'm gonna eat it all, but I always do. <laughs> what did you have, Frank? I, you had the tuna burger. I had three sandwiches, well, not all by myself. <laughs> <laughs> go, Frank, go, Frank, go, But I was Frank. tempted. No, I had uh, the... Crispy chicken sandwich? That's right, Dean's, Dean's crispy, crispy chicken sandwich. sandwich. Which was excellent. It was crispy, tasty, just perfect. And then I had a sample of the carnitas sandwich, which it was out of this world. It was soft, just the right amount of spice. Excellent. Okay. What else did you have? Well, I had the tuna tartare, and we had um, the Thai steak noodle salad. Which is one of their other signature dishes. Yeah. So tell me about each of those. Well, well, the tuna tartare was awesome. I mean, again, fresh ahi tuna, just melted in your mouth. It had that thinly sliced toasted ciabatta uh, and avocado. And don't forget the avocado. Oh, the avocado, <laughs> it, it just <laughs> matched perfectly. Mm -hmm. And the Thai steak noodle salad. Well, slices of filet mignon, I was perfectly cooked with mangoes, chopped peanuts with the uh, pancit noodles, mm -hmm. cilantro, I mean, you just, I've never had that, and I'd, something I would eat every day. Yep, yeah. because that steak is incredibly tender, isn't it? Yes. Really, yeah, actually, really tender. Probably drunk about it last, the first, last two nights. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had that when you've gone there? Yes, I've definitely mm -hmm. had that. I love it. The steak is perfectly cooked, and it's just a great medley of flavors. Um, did you have any other dishes? We, or try, uh, we tried the uh, barbecue beef ribs. Mm -hmm. They were very tasty. Not overly done with sauce, just a hint of barbecue sauce. Well done, tender, and that was served with a, a side of slaw. And uh, dessert, I had a carrot cake. Uh, carrot cake was delicious, but was a little overwhelming with uh, the frosting. It was layered carrot cake, and in between the layers they had frosting. It was a little overdone, but <laughs> it was still, we ate it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have any calories, no, you know, no. No. when you right. share it. Yeah. Um, any other dishes for you? I am not a big dessert person, but we went there for my daughter's birthday one day, and they offered her um, one of the free sundaes, and I just thought, oh, just it's a chocolate sundae. They came out with this huge gravy boat full of chocolate. It was a gravy boat, and I thought, there's no way we're going to eat all of that chocolate. I was the one, I'm not even the dessert person, that I was licking that gravy boat full of chocolate. <laughs> it was amazing. Put your fingers in and do that And the bat. recipe's a secret, so I asked. What about dessert for your group? That ice cream sundae was awesome. I mean, it had, uh, I think we had chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. And it was a local Sonoma ice cream, not too sweet. I mean, it was perfect in that hot fudge. It wasn't too chocolate. sweet. That's no. the thing. It yeah. wasn't too sweet. All right, Casey, your spot. Give us a quick summary. R&D Kitchen is a place where you can take friends and family. Everyone will be happy in the heart of the Napa Valley. All right, and Frank. Excellent restaurant. 
if I'm in Napa Valley, I will definitely go back. Okay, Mario. Well, R&D Kitchen is a fine culinary dining with a very intimate setting. If you would like to try R&D Kitchen, it's located on Washington Street in Yountville. It's open for lunch and dinner every day, and the average dinner tab per person without drinks is around $30. As a lifelong San Francisco resident, Frank has high standards for neighborhood cafes. His pick in the dog patch has a uh, full scratch menu, offering hangtown fries, airy beignets, and mimosas served by the pint glass. If you're searching for an excellent Americana brunch, this cafe is just for you. <music> We just celebrated our 30th anniversary, so we started up on Potrero Hill for the first eight years, and we've been down here 22 years. This is Reed Hanula. I'm the owner of Just For You Cafe in the Dogpatch neighborhood of San Francisco. All right. So now with the shelter in place ordinance through the city, we immediately pivoted to take out only. Our primary focus was to keep myself, my staff, and our customers safe. But we had a thriving takeout business, you know, already. So we've been very fortunate. Really, the brains behind the Just For You concept has been Arian Landry, a good friend of mine. Yes, my name's Arian Landry, and I'm the former owner of Just For You Cafe. Well, I call it Southern Breakfast. But then we have evolved into breakfast and lunch, because I'm from Louisiana. I added a lot of specials on the menu that are Louisiana-oriented. We do gumbos and jambalayas, and we do beignets, which is uh, very popular. It's kind of our bread and butter. Probably do a thousand of those a day. We're kind of trying to redefine what we do. We're doing a lot more fresh bakery products. When we reopen for customers coming in, we're going to be more of a walk-in, takeout bakery with a few tables and tables outside until you know we have a vaccine until people feel comfortable you know being on top of each other again i think until that happens it won't go back to what it was before but we'll find a way we are the same just for you been here for 30 years serving fresh food every day and we're keeping it as safe as possible yeah you guys too thanks all right frank mimosas by the pint glass that's a big mimosa that's a big mimosa and uh <laughs> you know to offset that mimosa you have to have three beignets. <laughs> <laughs> it's a chart, right? Yeah. Here, a former baseball coach, yeah. chart. Yeah. These beignets could rival the Café du Mont's beignets That's in New Orleans. That's big words. Mm -hmm. But I can stand by that. And if you had one of these beignets at just for you, you'll go, geez, that old coach was right. <laughs> Uh, my three kids tore into those beignets when they came to the table like wild dogs. I barely got any. They are perfect. Yeah, crispy outside, light inside, and do not wear black because <laughs> powdered sugar. You'd be covered with powdered sugar. <laughs> They're delicious. They float, and with a good cup of coffee, right. that's a way to start this did place off. Did you have off. beignets? I did. I had a couple of bites, but my kids ate them all. <laughs> <laughs> we love beignets, and it was. Wonderful. It, yeah. would, it was just awesome. What did you have after you got one tiny little bite of the beignet? After I had my tiny bite of the beignet, I had the huevos rancheros, mm -hmm. and it was really good. The eggs were perfectly cooked. It was good. So what did you order? Well, you know, I asked the waiter, I said, what's the favorite? And he started giving me a list. I said, no, what's your favorite, and what's your staff favorite? And she recommended the huevos rancheros, and that's what I had. And uh, I had it with the red carnita sauce, and it was just Bursting with flavor, I, I loved it. It was a uh, flour tortilla with black beans that was cooked perfectly. Yep. And uh, it had over easy egg and it was smothered with this red carnitas sauce that was just a little bit spicy, but was good kick. Right, did you wash yeah. it down with anything? Uh, you know, I washed it down with actually with a fresh squeezed apple juice and carrot juice. Yeah. Which is the first time I've ever had that actually pretty good. Wow. <laughs> what else do you have, Frank, when you go? My favorite, all time favorite, is the Hangtown Fry. A Thank San Francisco favorite, right? <laughs> <laughs> Scrambled eggs, just lightly cooked, onions, peppers, and of course, fried oysters. And that was named because in during the gold rush, 
Placerville was called Hangtown. That's right. And if you struck it rich, you'd say, I want the most expensive thing you can possibly get. And those were oysters and eggs and things from San Francisco. So the Hangtown Fry was born. Yeah. yeah. And to go along with that, I usually like the grits. And they make their own bread along with the beignets. And the grits, just perfectly done. Do you, do you I, like grits? I ordered the grits with butter. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's awesome. It was cooked perfectly. I like my grits with uh, butter and I put part of my uh, over easy egg on it also. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I didn't have the grits. We had the, um, the chicken and waffles and the waffles are huge, perfectly cooked, nice and fluffy with a giant piece of fried chicken, not greasy at all. It came with this huge side of bacon, best bacon ever. Was it really crispy? It was very crispy. Yep. Yeah. Did you have anything to drink? I had the coffee, which I think I was reading the reviews and they said that the coffee was excellent and it was. I love yeah. the coffee. The, the light or the dark? Would you... I had the dark. Yeah, the dark yes. yeah. It was excellent. delicious with yeah. the beignets. And this is kind of tucked away, this place, right? Dog Patch used to be a tough area, but with the right. ballparks there now, it's it's just the whole neighborhood's blossoming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. With yes. lo looks like lots of local people out yeah. there. You have parking, to get there yeah. early. Parking can be a little difficult. Right. Don't go on weekends. What did you think of the service? Oh, service was great. She also recommended the uh, fried chicken eggs Benedict. Ooh, tell yeah. us about and that. And I was good. I mean, the fried chicken, the batter was light batter, very yes. crispy, on top of uh, biscuit and um, poached eggs, mm -hmm. and hollandaise sauce. And I believe the chicken must have been marinated because it was just tender and, and full of flavor. You know, usually a chicken breast is kind of bland, but it, it was good, really good. My wife loved it. Well, you got some nice bits of decadence there, don't you? Hollandaise yeah. sauce, fried chicken, yeah. biscuits. Mm. That's yeah. what I love. <laughs> Anything else that you get? Yeah, the gumbo is delicious. It's big chunks of chicken and sausage, and it's flavorful, and you think you're in New Orleans, uh, Mardi Gras time, and jambalaya. The same, spicy, the rice is done perfectly, and they're fresh prawns and sausage with that. It's delicious. All right, this is your spot. Wrap it up for us, Frank. If you want a unique San Francisco experience, breakfast, lunch, brunch, you have to try just for you. And Casey? Cozy, funky spot in San Francisco. Go for the beignets. Yeah. And Mario? Great southern brunch just for you. If you would like to try Just For You Cafe, it's located on 22nd Street near 3rd in San Francisco. It's open for all day brunch every day, and the average tab per person without drinks is around $20. Post your favorite food shots on Instagram at hashtag Bay Area Bites, and have a chance to see your food pics on the show. Mario's pick in Vacaville is jam-packed with flavor. With dishes hailing from the chef's home region of northern Thailand, this eatery uses the freshest California produce possible for creative takes on Thai classics. Welcome to Rice Barn Thai Eatery and Wine Bar. When I was born, I, I raised up with a restaurant. My mom used to uh, have a very small restaurant Let's say my Thai is my first language, English is my second, food is my third language. My grandma and my mom is very proud of me because we get her recipe and make it very famous. Make American people try our traditional Thai food and they love it a lot. Thank you, mom. My chef is super shy. He is very well-known chef. He has cooked in Thailand for over 20 years in many, many five-star hotels. Not only Thai food, he can cook Japanese, he can cook French, and it's very authentic. We mix between Thai and fusion dishes, so our presentation is the key. You believe it or not, my, my daughter's name is Napa. I named my, my, my kid Napa because I like drinking wine. <laughs> and you know, our food is really very good with the wine. The uh, Sauvignon Blanc can go with something spicy. The curry can go with Chardonnay. So cap and steak, the best. I know a lot of people because I opened the restaurant for six years. They know me as Andy. Welcome home, everyone. When they come here, hey, what's up, Andy? What's up, man? I say, hey, man, welcome home. 
and they feel like they're really home. And I feel like, oh, I'm treating my best friend here, you know? Sometimes I even drink with them, you know? We talk like family. All right, Mario, how'd you find this spot? Hidden gem from one of my uh, best friends, Alan Kerrigan, who's a retired police officer also. Said he had to take me to the spot and just totally fell in love with it. So these are some family recipes and classics, right? Yes, Chef Andy and Chef uh, Super Chai are the two chefs. Born, raised in Thailand, came over here and started their uh, restaurant and never tasted this type of Thai food before. Mm -hmm. And what do you start with? I start with the crispy pork belly with tamarind sauce and also the honey mustard pan fried gyoza, okay. which is just perfect. Yep. Yeah. Nice. What did you have when you I went? am dreaming of the summer rolls. They <laughs> were unbelievable, like my favorite summer rolls ever. They were crunchy and fresh, and they had a little bit of mango in them, which is kind of unexpected. So delicious. Did you uh, agree, Frank? I agree with Casey, and I agree with Mario. The mustard helped me with the pronunciation. The uh, honey mustard gyoza. Delicious. Never tried that before. And it was just, everybody, we, we should have ordered a second one because they, they went right away. Yeah. Oh, the texture in your mouth, the, when the, the spices and just, just everything. It mm -hmm. was just really unique. Mm -hmm. And the, the summer rolls, like you said, they were greasy, crisp, crispy, just delicious. Mm -hmm. What do you get after that? The Bangkok noodles is my favorite. Mm -hmm. One day I was there eating and I said, hey, what kind of soup do you have? And Chef Andy says, hey, you know what? not on the menu, but I've just kind of experimented a little in the back. Would you like to try it? And one day brought this uh, Bangkok noodles and I've been stuck with it ever since. And it had basil, it had honey, crispy fried chicken on top of it. So basically it's rice noodles with a coconut milk base with curry. And it's just so delicious. And it's got <clears throat> Thai chilies, as well as the bell peppers. I mean, I get that every time. You get that every time. Oh, yeah. What did you have next, your group? I'm dreaming of the fried chicken with the ginger rice. Two huge pieces of fried chicken and this mound of ginger rice. It's kind of like a pyramid yes. shape. It is so delicious. What I was surprised by was the portions. The portions are huge for a Thai restaurant. I mean, it was enough for four people. Um, and the fried chicken was perfectly crispy, not greasy, and it came with these two dipping sauces. One was like the ginger sauce that you put over the fried rice, and the other was a lemon sauce that you put over the chicken. It was out of this world. She's dreaming twice now about these. I'm dreaming. The, she she the wants chicken. to go back there. Were you with the group? I just went with my girlfriend uh -huh. on one night and we ha we ordered so much food, enough for probably 10 people. And we were <laughs> shocked about the price. The, it was very affordable. I had a good scouting report. I had the Bangkok chicken <laughs> and I had the uh, crispy chicken on the jasmine rice. Uh, I, we went with a group mm -hmm. and both dishes, as Casey and Mario explained, they were just undescribably delicious. And we also had the yellow curry and we chose chicken on that too. Mm -hmm. And it was mild, a little liquidy, mm -hmm. uh, uh, but it was still delicious. Right. And we had uh, barbecue pork. Yeah. It was uh, lightly seasoned, a uh, little sauce. That was good. It wasn't the league of the first two. But it was good. Stick with the other two oh, dishes. Oh, yeah, the first yeah. two were just outstanding. Well, the other portion of this is called wine bar. You can walk in and get wine. Um, I love the atmosphere. It kind of had like the gray woods and it was very classy and it felt like a wine bar, but I was never offered a wine list, which kind of confused me a little bit. Uh, they have Opus One, Behringer. Uh, yeah, I've got it all. Just um, again, I, just me knowing the restaurant, so I know what's there. Right. So we ask for it. Right. Yeah. Yes. No dessert. I dessert. Sticky mango. Sticky mango. Oh yeah, that's good. But yes. I have to tell you about a couple more. Th oh, you. Uh, my we're favorite waiting. dishes. <laughs> we're waiting. I, the deep fried red snapper is my favorite. I always order that when I'm there. But there's this sauce. It's a dipping sauce for the fish, and it's uh, fish sauce with fresh lime assorted Thai chilies chopped up inside with cilantro. And my wife has been begging him to bottle that sauce. <laughs> um, but that fish dish right there is, is awesome. Worth going just for that. Just for that. And the drunken man noodle. I'm not sure if you guys had that. That's wide rice noodles sauteed in uh, spicy garlic and Thai chilies with uh, bell peppers and green beans and prawns or chicken. I mean, 
That's that's my and favorite. no alcohol. I mean, drunken man noodles are made with no, no alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, your spot, give us a quick summary. Great modern Thai street food, and as the, the owner, Andy Chef Andy would say, welcome home. Okay, Casey. Elevated Thai food at non-elevated prices. I will definitely be back. Okay, and Frank. If I'm in Vacaville, I will definitely go back. If you would like to try Rice Barn Thai Eatery and Wine Bar, it's located on Browns Valley Parkway near East Monta Vista Avenue in Vacaville. It's open for lunch and dinner every day and the average dinner tab per person without drinks is around $20. I have to thank my fried chicken loving guests on this show, Casey Rooney, who journeyed to Yountville for perfectly executed sushi and new American classics at R&D Kitchen, Frank Casanelli, who invited us to his neighborhood locale in San Francisco for all day brunch at Just For You Cafe, and Mario Chesney, who clued us in to Vacaville's destination for farm fresh Thai cuisine at Rice Barn Thai Eatery and Wine Bar. Join us next time when three more guests will recommend their favorite spots right here on Check Please Bay Area. I'm Leslie Sabraco, and I'll see you then. Cheers. 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 We really want to hear about your experiences at any of the restaurants we've been talking about. So keep in touch with us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And don't forget that you can watch any of the shows on our website at kqed.org slash checkplease. It's where you'll find links to the restaurants and my notes on the wines we're drinking today. Cheers! Check Please Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQED and by the following sponsors, whom we gratefully acknowledge for their steadfast support during these uncertain times. Cooking is the first kind of love you know. It was starting when I was a child with my grandmother doing fresh pasta, and now I transmit it to all the guests. It's something made specially for them. Oceana Cruises, proud sponsor of Check Please Bay Area. It's the transplant procedure that didn't just save one life. It saved six. It's a thousand things, big and small. Sutter Health. The Bay Area Airport that's close and reliable. iFlyOAK.com. Total Wine & More, offering more than 8,000 wines, 2,500 beers, and 3,000 spirits. Total Wine & More, now with nine Bay Area locations. TotalWine.com. At Redwood Credit Union, we help people achieve their financial goals together, offering customized full-service personal and business banking for the North Bay and San Francisco. Redwood Credit Union.